All right, this is uh, section two of chapter one, and so we're going to talk a little bit about measurements. And so um, the first part we're just going to talk about is uncertainty. Every measurement, no matter how good you are at measuring, has a degree of uncertainty. So every single measurement has uncertainty. Some value that we, I, I call it a guesstimation digit, digit, some digit that you are going to guesstimate on. And you'll understand this a little bit more when we start actually taking measurements. You'll be like, um, there's a value that you're always kind of guessing at, that there's not a mark on your tool that you're using. There's not a mark on the ruler for, there's not a mark on the graduated cylinder for, so you're kind of guessing, well, I think it's, I think it's about a five or a two or whatever it is. And so that is because, and that's, so that's our uncertainty. That's our guessing of our device that we're using. So the first thing we're going to start with is talking about how to use a ruler. Hopefully, you know, throughout our science or even math careers, we've used a ruler. And, but we really focus on in science starting to learn how to properly use a ruler and use it to the correct number of digits. So the first thing you have to understand is, um, we use the uh, metric side of a ruler or even a meter stick. And so the large numbers are going to be centimeters. So when you look at a ruler, I have a picture down here for you. The big numbers are going to be centimeters. So oh, I forgot to hit my little pen. Uh, so down here, this is a centimeter. This is a centimeter. So we're at one, two, three centimeters. The smaller markings are in millimeters. So we technically, if we're talking in terms of centimeters, like if I want to make a measurement in centimeters, I would be like, okay, if I was going to this mark right here, um, that would be, I would count how many I have. So I'd be like one, two, three, four, five, right? That would be 1.5 centimeters somewhat. We're going to talk about why that wouldn't be technically correct here in a few minutes, but, um, but you can see that. And then in terms of millimeters, that same exact measurement, though, we would just count how many we have. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not 1.5. I was thinking about if I go all the way over to here, if I go past the 1, this right here would be 1.5, right? This right here would just be 0.5 centimeters, but it would be 5, because it counted 5 tick marks, millimeters. Whereas over here, this one, I'll make it a different color so you see what I'm talking about. This one right here, that I'm kind of coloring in red, this mark right here would actually be 15 millimeters. And that's why important it's very important for our measurements that we mark them. So you'd be like, all right, I know exactly how many that I'm doing. All right, let me kind of clear the board here. And let me just make a mark on the board. So let's say like this one right here, this mark, I'll just kind of even mark it. What would we measure that? Let's say, first of all, if we were just measuring, let's do it in both. Let's first say, what is that in centimeters and what is that in millimeters? Okay. Bop and bop. All right, first. All right, so centimeters, it's past the two, right? So we're already at two, and then we count, um, let's see, one, two, and three. So it would be 2.3 centimeters. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you can do some basic math, you just have to, as far as if you figure out what it is in centimeters, you just have to multiply it by 10. Because this to this is just multiplied by 10. So we're just like, cool, that's 23. If you really want to count them all, that's cool. If you do the same thing, you get here, that's 20, add one more, add three, 23, okay? All right, so, but that's the other thing I want to talk about. Remember we talked about very in the beginning, we have this thing called uncertainty, okay? So, that's the thing. And actually, I'm going to go back because the ruler that we were just on is a little easier to see than the ruler I have on the previous page. Let's take that 2.3 mark that we just had there. Okay, so two, one, two, three. Right there, that 2.3 mark, and I totally about missed it, but that's okay. We have that 2.3 mark in centimeters again. Okay, that was perfectly on a line, right? Perfect. Well, kind of, because I can't draw. But let's say, let's say that. Let's say that I look at it, and, you know, I say it's perfect, because, you know, I, I, I believe I'm awesome, and it's perfect. But you look at it, and you're like, Wiley, that's off the line. That's like over the line. I think that's over 2.3. I think that's at like 2.3 and maybe even like 1 like or 2.32. Like it's almost verging on to the next mark. Okay. That's the point of this whole like word of uncertainty. 
Because what if it falls in between two lines? Like, what if it falls in between two of those marks? Like, we have the mark for centimeters, right? We have these big, you know, big marks for centimeters. We have these little marks for millimeters. But what happens if it falls in between those marks? What do we do? Well, that's the whole point. We go one step farther than what the marks give us. So like for centimeters here, we were able to guess because we have that marking for the millimeter spot. We went to three because there was obviously a mark for that. We technically can go one more space. So we have 2.3 for that first measurement. We go one more space, even if it is a zero, even if we say it's perfectly on the line, we're going to go one more space and say zero. Maybe some of you looked at that and said, you know, the first time this line that we had marked there, you're like, well, it's, it's over. It's, it's 2.31. You're right, too. Because if we go to the next slide and we talk about this, and actually I might have that on the next slide. Yep, I get ahead of myself. But that's what this is talking about here. So if you're measuring in centimeters, you need to have always two places after the decimal. If you're measuring in millimeters, you need to have one place after the decimal. Okay? So, and how do you know, like, if my measurements and your measurements are right? Well, as long as we are both 0.5 away from each other. So, meaning... If I was on that, the problem I originally had, 2.30, and you were at 2.31, are we both basically 0 0.05? Because it's always a value of the 5. So are we 5 away from each other? Yes. So centimeters, we would be plus or minus 0 0.05. So add or subtract 0 0.05. Millimeters, we would be 0 0.5. Because remember, for millimeters, our values would be 23.0 and 23.1. So are we again five away from each other? Yes. So we're going to do a little practice using the ruler in lab and hopefully this will make a little bit more sense and if you don't, again, get with me. So, because um, this is really important. I know it sounds kind of silly. You're like, well, does it matter? And it does matter. Like, the whole point of this is learning how to use a ruler properly. That's all I've got for you on the ruler.